hello guys welcome to this video here we'll be learning how to configure the network load balancing currently I'm on web server 1 okay so we'll be using two web servers for this configuration both web servers has uh, a file or a website hosted on it already let's check that out to be sure the first web server when I type the host name WS1 which is web server 1 I have displaying I can go ahead and try accessing the website hosted on the web server 2 you realize that I can access it so this on web server 2 and then this web server 1 Let's, this is web server 1 let's go on to web server 2 to see what we have there right here on web server 2 trying to access the site on web server 2 we go to the browser http wst that is the host name you realize that we're on web server 2 basically so when we go for web server 1 let's try accessing very good we are on web server 1 so currently we have two web servers on our network we'll be going over to the web server one to configure NLB on that server you can also configure NLB on a different server on your network but for our sake okay we're just trying out because this is just for test so we'll be going over to web server one and then install NLB and then also we have to install NLB on the web server 2 as well right here on web server 1 we have to go to the server manager go to manage or go for manage and the manage you go for add rules and features okay go for nest then rule based click nest and then uh, you select the server which is basically this dot 10 that is the IP address you go for nest and then when you go over to nest which is on the features we'll find it down here network load balancing you select that add features nest and then you install the installation shouldn't take long once it's done I'll be back okay guys so that is it the installation is done we can go over now to tools and then we have the network load balancing manager please take note I've um, done the installation already on web server 2 so I'll show you do that as well now starting from the network load balancing manager now right click on the network load balancing node that's network load balancing clusters node right click and go for new cluster over here you specify the first server that should be in the cluster which is a uh, minus ws1 that is the host name connect okay you realize it's connected on the ethernet adapter nest over here saying I should specify the priority of this um, particular server please take note guys you can only have from 1 to, t to 32 servers or hosts in your NLB cluster okay so I'll set it to 1 of course and then I'm um, started next over here it's asking us to specify the cluster IP address so I'm going to go for add and then um, that would be the IP address that would bind all servers in the cluster as one so this IP address would be targeted by all clients and any available ser server in the cluster will respond I would give it a 50 basically let's say 50 because 50 is available and I'll also give a submit mask and then I'll go for OK then you can go for next now here these are cluster IP address which is um, basically intact and then here it seems to specify the full internet name so I'm going to call it web server dot vincent tech blog dot com okay and basically because I have um, two operational hosts I'm going to specify the multicast operational mode and then um, please take note guys this name this full in full internet name we specify needs to be added in our DNS records so we'll do that basically immediately we finish configuring this cluster 
the wood nest and then over here we have the port rule which you can um we are, which we're going to edit later okay or probably now when we go for edit you realize here we have uh the cluster the port range because we are hosting the website or web yeah website we're going to say from 80 to 80 because we are hosting an http site not https and over here we want both protocols to be translated and then over here on the filtering mode we have at affinity as a single this basically means that when a particular client accesses the cluster one server responds when that server responds that particular client sticks to that server no matter the amount of time you request data from the cluster the single server will respond the same to the other one to the other server as well but when you go for none it simply means that any server on the cluster node can can respond at any point in time so i'm going to select that and probably go for okay so it's going to be responding to our at website go for ok and then we'll go for finish alright guys you realize that we have a first name here and then the status of um, this server currently is pending it's going to be connected shortly ok good so now you realize that uh, we have this cluster this particular host in our cluster adding another host just right click and go for add host to cluster then you specify WS1 2 actually connect it's connecting to the other server and now it is connected and this is IP address go for nest go for nest it's basically adding to the same cluster so the same settings these particular settings can be edited at any time that is the port rule and then we'll go for finish okay guys so this is also being added to the cluster you can add up to a maximum of 32 hosts in a particular cluster okay guys so here we have our second server and it's the priority set to 2 and it's set to static okay now the next step here is to go over to the dns server and then configure our our internet our full internet name we'll move over to dnc1 Alright guys, here we are on DC1, we just have to move over to the DNS console. And then here, we can go ahead and then um, add a new record here. So just have to refresh to ensure that we don't have that record already existing. Right click and go for new host, we specify web server, okay, that is the FQDN name. You can specify the address now, which is 192.168.1.50 and then add to post. Record has been added. You go for OK and then you close. You realize you have a record there. OK. Now, right here on DC1, let's test our NLB pages. OK, so here we can access our web server. Just web server okay guys you realize that this is loading from the web server one now currently because the web server one is up it's up and it's still when I very refresh okay it's still load server one it's obvious perfectly because um, server one is up and it's working perfectly now let's try to stop server one that is the web server one okay so currently i'm on dc1 as you can all see and i'm able to access okay guys right here on the nlb i'm going to right click on the web server one and go for control host i just wanted to stop okay currently you realize that this host has been stopped let's go back to the dc1 to try testing again okay guys back on dc1 when i go to the browser and then i try accessing the web server okay guys you see now it means web server one is not available at the moment so web server two is responding to my request which is powerful so that is it now let, let's bring back the 
web server one here on the NLB server I'm going to right click and then go to for control host and start host that is my web server one we are trying to stop and start all for practice sake basically just practice so now web server one is back up and running so yeah DC DC one back when I try accessing currently it took me to this web server two so when I refresh I refresh and refresh and refresh and refresh you realize I'm still on web server two because web server two is busy responding to me it's not feeling whenever web server two goes off then you switch back to web server one let's try disabling web server 2 now and see what happens so right here on the NLB server I'm going to right click on my web server 2 and stop okay you realize that it's really stopped going back to DC1 uh, for or from any server at all on the network right here on DC1 again when I refresh realize that when I refresh a couple of times realize that it's trying to take me to a working server so it's loading up okay guys after refreshing you realize that it has taken us to what to the server one again okay guys so basically that is how an nlb cluster can be created if you learned from this video subscribe like share and feel free to ask more questions or any questions of your choice see you in the future tutorials bye